Hi, welcome to the Kind Beer Review. I'm Josh Kenzer, and today we're shooting in Las Vegas. Uh, the family drove up here last night so that we can uh, leave the kids with Grandma, and my wife and I can go celebrate our eighth wedding anniversary here on the town. So uh, you can see a little different shoot, little different cups, just making do with what we got. Today I'm going to be reviewing uh, two wheat ales, uh, one by the Blue Moon Brewing Company and one by uh, the Boston Beer Brewing Company, Sam Adams. Uh, one is cherry and one has got uh, hints of lime. Um, I'm a fan of wheat beers, definitely like the uh, Blue Moon uh, with, with the orange twist in it. I know it changes the flavor of the beer and everything, but it just tastes so good. And with summer on us, uh, wheat beers, light beers, uh, are more popular, more well stocked in the grocery stores, and so it seems appropriate to do a review of them. So I'll start with the this Blue Moon. I've never heard of it. It's called Rising Moon. Um, it's this delicious spring ale blends three varieties of specialty malts with kaifer lime leaves and lime peel for a smooth, balanced taste. Um, it's from their seasonal collection. The Blue Moon Company. Uh, I believe they started in. Uh, Colorado, but they're now owned by Molson, which just merged with Coors, so, um, you know, some of their, their heritage is, is craft beer, but they've been picked up by the macro breweries, but I think that uh, it, it could still be classified as a nice craft ale kind beer. Uh, definitely a copper orange tint, nice head, um, white, maybe a little off-white, good head retention. Uh, small bubbles. Very, very slight tint of lime. And then hop aroma. Maybe subtle wheat flavor, or uh, wheat scent in the background. Um, but not overpowering, not overly aromatic. Very, very bubbly mouthfeel. Yeah, it's light, but it's it's very bubbly, very uh, carbonated taste to the to the mouthfeel. The taste, I'd say, a very small hint of lime, um, but really just tastes like a a, a wheat ale, a uh, light flavor. It's not overpowering in, in any flavor. It's not bitter. It's not too sweet. Um, does it have a little bit stronger aftertaste, but that might even be giving it too much credit in terms of flavor. A little disappointing in that one. Uh, so now we'll go to the Samuel Adams. This is a cherry wheat from their Brewmasters collection. It's an awesome uh, interview with Jim Cook, who started Samuel Adams on After All These Beers podcast. Um, you might want to search for that. You can find it on vidler.com. Uh, the label says, celebrating a, a centuries-old American tradition, tradition of brewing with native ingredients, Samuel Adams Cherry Wheat combines Michigan cherries with a generous portion of wheat malt to produce a bright, lively ale with a crisp finish. And then cheers. They, they like to use the word cheers. Definitely back east and in Boston. And, and I think every bottle of Samuel Adams says cheers on it. Um, similar color, a little bit lighter, uh, more orange. Um, not as big a head, definitely a much wider head. Um, lighter beer. Yeah, this one definitely an initial aroma of cherries. Smells really good. Uh, I'd say that the cherries overpower any other smell. I don't smell uh, any hops. Just pretty much cherries. Mouthfeel is is light, but it it's not as carbonated or as bubbly as the Blue Moon. Smooth. Um, as for flavor. Again, real light cherry, um, really light, right at the, the beginning of the palate, but as it goes to the mid-palate and, and uh, aftertaste, there's not a whole lot of cherry flavor there. 
um, just a light wheat wheat beer. Um, so I, I mean, overall, I think if you're really looking for flavor, uh, you probably want to avoid both these beers. However, in the in the heat of the summer, you know, you don't want to be overpowered with flavor. You want a nice drinkable beer, and both these beers are very drinkable. Um, I think you could go through a whole six pack without. Um, you know, getting over one with flavor, although you'd probably be drunk off your ass by then. Um, I didn't really look at the alcohol by value, volume on these, but I'm, I'm going to guess it's it's pretty low, uh, below, uh, this is 5.35%, um, so a good, good drinking beer. Um, so go out and enjoy some kind beer in the summer, uh, remember your sunscreen, and uh, drink responsibly out in the, in the heat.